Okay, this is going to be another quick video on a simple instruction, which is uh, basically a no operation. Um, the no operation, you'll be able to find it in the, um, basically uh, up here in the, it should be in the program control. So, uh, the no, what the no operation does, and well, let's get to it. Uh, so, it's the NOP, no operation. It's right next to the uh, end transition event, um, in case you're doing event driven or something like that. Um, the AFI uh, and the NOP. Uh, the NOP is what we're talking about. Um, generally, you'll see them being used if something, if you somebody does not want something used, but they want it as a placeholder, meaning you can have it in the let's add a rung right here. And let's come in and uh, use the NOP, meaning the nothing in the backside. Like if I wanted to use all these bits right here and just monitor them for some reason, I could do that, and it will accept it because it's not going to. It doesn't need an operation on the backside. It does not need a any kind of OTE or a clear or any kind of instruction or anything like that. Um, you can just simply assemble it like that and these are just points of contact for you to remember if you wanted to have um, some kind of troubleshooting method or, or something like that um, so again so we'll we'll delete that one and so that was that's one reason why you you would see it um, the second reason why you'd see it is I often use it and many other people often use it as a placeholder so uh meaning separating one element to another so uh this would be uh i would take basically take the um the wrong comment right here and copy it and put it up here and then remove the wrong comment from right here so that now I have like a separation point between this and this and then I sometimes I can even if I want another separation point I'll come in here and add it in here um, and just do another no operation I, you can either come up here and double tap it right here like I just did and click NOP uh, or you can grab it simply from again your control pro, uh, program control and then up here um, and again, I, all I'm trying to do is, in this case, um, is add uh, a separation to let the person that's actually um, reading the code that, that got written, let them understand that this is a breaking point between this to this and this to this. That's really what you want to do. Generally, it's, it's not broken up that small. Um, but what it is is done is like generally like you'll have like a a big section of code written like that and you'll have a new operation in there to show uh, you know like a major edit uh, a major run comment or even uh, using different bits like take for instance right here you come in and you say well I want to monitor these bits uh, you know for some odd reason you want to just monitor those and just not have them in operation that's another reason as well um, so we'll cancel that out so um, you know just using a no operation you know very easy very functional um, piece of uh, you know software as far as that goes unlike a AFI or AFI you're basically trying to um, you're basically trying to um, you know come in here and and not use the front half like if for that case an AFI would be in the front and then you're not using anything else could not be actuated from the backside the uh, NOP is almost uh, the opposite you do not need a output command you do not need a uh, whether it be an instruction like this or whether it be uh, just a regular output uh, let's see if I got one in here. I'm sure I do right here. Uh, whether it be an output or OTE, OTL, 
you don't need that. Uh, the no operation serves is that and it just tells the uh, processor that it is a point of reference or a point of um, needed just break into the program to not necessarily a break because it still scans it but a point that that you you have put in as a programmer as a note uh, or a um, a place to interrupt so again um, hopefully that was really helpful and just to show a real quick video on a new operation and use and why a couple different elements of why you would use a new operation so if you do see this in the field no uh, you'll know why they used it at that point in time um, generally it's used for troubleshooting too so keep that in mind as well uh, and that what that's what I meant by having you know uh, basically uh, tags and stuff up here as well so um, I often do that and so do uh, many other programmers so just keep that in mind and as you're going through your uh, troubleshooting and going through programs that people have written uh, now you know why people would put a no operation in that system okay so hopefully that was helpful and again uh, feel free to leave your own comment or um, comments below the video and uh, let me know what you thought and you know check out my other platforms again if you haven't subscribed please subscribe and uh, look forward to hearing from you and uh, getting your feedback so uh, hope everybody's having a good day and everything's going well okay thank you